Hey VC, Gary's Vinyl Dungeon here. Just got some recent finds I want to catch up on. I was going to do this yesterday, but I did a uh, updated room tour because I got so much new equipment and I couldn't get that stuff to upload. Um, it kept telling me that it was longer than 15 minutes and I know if you don't have a verified account, they won't let you do it if it's over 15. So I said, well, I knew my account's verified. So I hit... Um, place to go verify the account and it said you are already verified tried it four or five times wouldn't wouldn't upload my my uh, video now I'm trying something different today this is right off of YouTube before I was using my iPhone going to the camera hitting video and starting it there that way I could go into um, iMovie and edit and splice and do all the stuff I needed to do so I don't know about YouTube. I've never done it this way. So we'll see what happens here. But uh, I just, I don't know how everybody else does it. Maybe you can leave a comment. But for some reason, iPhone was just, I mean, iMovie was just not working. First of all, it came up and the, th um, the three parts of the video that I made, they weren't highlighted on iMovie. You know, you, you, you couldn't touch them. They, they wouldn't open up. And um, it's very frustrating. It took me from uh, probably two o'clock, and I finally got it on there at seven. So five hours of screwing with it until I finally got it uploaded. Which, that's the first time it's really given me that uh, that much trouble. Uh, normally, it, I go to iMovie, whoosh, send it right to YouTube, and it's no problem. But I don't know what happened. I, it was probably one of the updates from uh, every other day. Uh, if you guys have iPhones, you know this. They send some kind of freaking update over. And I ain't kidding you, more times than enough, it has screwed things up in my phone. It's very frustrating. But uh, anyway, get to the record vinyl buys. Um, first of all, before I get started, I showed these on my last um, um, recent vinyl finds. But I didn't show the vinyl itself. And um, I thought I would show it because it is, I know people like to see these, but this uh, Denim and Leather album by Saxon comes in this really cool blue splatter, blue and white splatter. It's pretty neat looking. Um, but I thought I'd show that. I know a lot of people are into that. It don't matter to me. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy an album because it was had color to it. And the other one, this is a Saxon Crusader. And yeah, this is a uh, different shades of blue and clear splatter. Kind of neat. Um, but uh, I thought I'd show that because a lot of people were into that. And this album is, let me show you the front cover. I just bought, uh, I've, I've got about six Saxon albums now. Come on, get in there. And uh, these three, I, I, I was buying them. I was finding them out in the wild, but then I decided to just start buying some new um, just got into Saxon within the last six, eight months, and I've really kind of re rediscovering the uh, heavy metal stuff, um, getting more of the albums that I didn't have on CD, on vinyl. But uh, this is Saxon Crusader, and I already showed you Saxon Denon and Leather. And the other one was, it's a Greatest Hits uh 79 through 88 Saxon and this is called Decade the of the Eagle This is all these three are really good albums, especially uh, denim and leather uh, Really a good album really getting into them <clears throat> um, Matter of fact, I listened to all three of them again this morning <clears throat> That's why they're out Okay, now I've got bought in four different places eBay um, Goodwill Finds, um, my local record store, 
and Walmart. Here's the two I got from Walmart. They have pretty good prices on their stuff. Um, this is John Mellencamp. This is uh, the best that I could do. Uh, it's the greatest hits, uh, 1978 to 1988. So a decade of hits. It's got all the good ones on it. I Need a Lover, uh, Hurts So Good, Jack and Diane, Crumbling Down, Pink House's Authority Song, uh, Small Town, Rockin' in the USA, Paper and Fire, Cherry Bomb. Uh, good album if you're into uh, him. And then the other one I got from Walmart was The Essential Johnny Cash. It's a double album. Uh, I've got some albums of his. I got a lot of them on CD, but I decided to get this one on vinyl. I've seen it there, and it has a lot of his hits on it. Um, Man in Black, Sunday Morning Coming Down, Boy Named Sue, Daddy Sang Bass. But there's a, there's a couple songs on here, ones with Dylan. Once was with his two were with his wife June Carter, but it's a pretty good album. You can't go wrong buying Johnny Cash. Okay, the next group I'll show is the ones I got from the Goodwill. So, some of these are upgrades. There's only a few here, but uh, here's Peter Frampton, and this is uh, what was this one? I'm in you. This is a. Uh, any, every time you go in a record store, you see a copy of this. But this is uh, an upgraded copy. The one I had was kind of beat. And this one I've got about eight or ten copies of. And uh, I mentioned this. I seen this sitting there, and it was still there when I went back three weeks later. So I said, what the hell, I might as well pick it up. It's like perfect condition. Somebody wrote on the cover, number 26. But the album itself is super clean. And uh, so I picked it up anyway, even though... I said I wouldn't. Next one, Peter Frampton, the Bee Gees, Sgt. Pepper's, Hearts Lonely Club Band. This is um, kind of them singing the Beatles songs. Not everybody knows this album. I had one, but it was pretty beat, especially the cover. So I just did an upgrade on it. Now the next three I picked up, not, kind of blindly, because I never heard of these albums, but I, I was always into... Uh, Neil Diamond, his early stuff. Um, and I got these three. Eh, they're all right. I mean, you can listen to them, but they're not any of his best stuff, I can tell you. This one's called uh, Rainbow. I've seen Jeff uh, Kempin. He bought a few, and he was showing them. Um, he said the same thing. He was into his early stuff, but these are all right. I mean... This one is September Morn. Of course, everybody knows that song. But, uh, yeah. I won't say a whole lot of these. And this is On the Way to the Sky. Another Neil Diamond. But for a buck, I picked them up. What the heck? Okay. Now, the next group are what I bought from my local record store. And I've heard, mentioned these quite a few times. <clears throat> Chuck's records. <clears throat> uh, he's um, got small, really small store, but he's got a lot crammed in there. And uh, this first one here is a bootleg. It's Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young live at the LA Forum. Um, it's a bootleg album. Um, sounds good though. I, I have no problems with it. I know some of them you buy are pretty, pretty terrible, but this one's not too bad. Um, and it's a clean album. I mean, perfect album actually. This next one I, I got is a um, upgrade, um, and only because of the anniversary here. I kept seeing it. and I said, "What the heck? Mine's mine's pretty beat." So I bought the first Woodstock album. Um, Everybody knows this album. There's no use going too crazy with it. But I've got the first and second one, and I know there's a third one. I haven't yet bought that one yet. Um, the next one here is Little Feet, the last record album. And I, lo I love Little Feet. And it's on Warner Brothers. The 
but uh, it's a good album, real good. And I had to pick this up too. This, this was uh, in perfect shape. This is basically an upgrade. It's on something called uh, Nautilus Half Speed Master Series Super Disc, and it's Dreamboat Annie, and every Annie from Heart, and everybody knows this album. It's an excellent album, one of their best. Um, Magic Man, Dreamboat Annie, Crazy on You, Dreamboat Annie, um, uh, White Lightning and Wine, Love Me Like Music, I'll Be Your Song, Sing Child, How Deep It Goes, and Dreamboat Annie again. But uh, Next one um, is Blackfoot. Um, it's called Vertical Smiles. Uh, and I like Blackfoot. They used to play at some of the nightclubs in Baltimore a lot. This is on Atco. <sighs> the next one, or the next two, I picked up and I enjoyed them. This is the Flying Burrito Brothers. Um, flying again. I guess this is Columbia. That's the first one. And this is uh, last of the Red Hot Burritos. Next one is Stars Coliseum Rock. I don't think I, I don't I haven't listened to this one yet. I'm not gonna it's on Capitol. But I haven't listened to it. I've been I've been playing uh, a lot of uh my MoFi on my new turntable, which sounds incredible. Uh, between with the combination of the speakers and the new VPI I got is uh it just really sounds good, man. I'm so impressed. Um uh, been kind of rediscovering a lot of my vinyl. The next one group is this pile here. This is the ones I bought on eBay. Okay. First one's an upgraded copy. And uh, I think this was music on vinyl, I believe. I think I took the sticker off, but I believe it is. And this is Van Halen. And their first one, debut album. Second one, I've been starting to try to find uh, and buy more prints. This album here. <clears throat> is really a great sounding album good songs and the quality of the of the recording is fantastic um it's called uh controversy i guess it's what it's called yeah controversy like i said i'm just starting to get into uh buying more prints i've had a few of his albums and then i kind of stopped looking for them but I've gotten some um, I've gotten caught up on so many of the albums that I've wanted to purchase I started looking for prints and the next one this is uh Central Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble this is just you know Grace Hits album and it's got all the good ones on it man it just and it sounds really good really impressed with the recording on that <clears throat> Next one is Foreigner Head Games, and it's a uh, on MoFi original Mo master recordings. Um, I've been trying to, as I see them around, I try to get them. Any MoFi recording. <clears throat> uh, this next one's an upgraded copy. I bought a new copy, um, and it's Queen and Night in the Opera, uh, or at the Opera, I should say. Let me see. I I'm thinking this was a colored vinyl. I don't remember. No, they had them in color, but I didn't get that one. I thought it was colored vinyl, but not. Next one, Bob Marley. I've never really seen this album. I'm not sure the history of it. Um, if anybody knows, let me know. 
it's it's a greatest hits best of but i've just never seen a best of with the songs that are on this i believe these are all early stuff um but uh songs are um rainbow country soul rebel african herbs herbsman uh there she goes you can't do that to me seven is no sympathy no sympathy and no water they're two short songs that's side a but uh don't i've seen it and i've never seen the album before so i picked it up um here's another uh one of my favorite artists and uh it's bob dylan time out of mind i didn't have this one and uh it's a good album really enjoyed it i need to play it more and this is an upgrade um mine was i had picked up at a record store and it was it wasn't the cover was bad but the uh, vinyl was pretty decent but I, I bought this new and uh wings over america everybody knows that live album <clears throat> the other one uh this is an album, this is a new release, um, it's not the old one, but uh, Andy Warhol's. And this is The Velvet Un Underground and Nico. Everybody knows this album, I don't need to get, this is an, a real old album. Um, next one, Angel of Retribution, Judas Priest. And like a dummy, Discog sometimes doesn't update your, um, your, uh, you know, your listings. And if you don't take, it was on your phone, if you don't take and, like, refresh it, even though you've put them on in your computer, it, it doesn't refresh your listings. And I looked on there and I said, damn, I don't have this one. And... I was upstairs. I, I didn't feel like walking downstairs, so I was upstairs, and I went ahead and ordered another one, and now I got two of them. But this is Iron Maiden, peace of mind. But I, I don't even think I opened it. Nope, it's not even opened. I might give this away, send it for two for some BCLT, but uh, I don't need I don't need two new ones. It's 180 grand vinyl. Uh, yeah. Let's see, I believe that's it. I believe that's all I wanted to show you. Oh, yeah. I got, I showed these in uh, my last vinyl finds. I got these at the Goodwill for a buck a piece. And um, what I've decided to do is just give them away. And uh, I'll ship them at my expense to whoever wants them. And what I want you to do is the people that watch this video to the end, uh, um, it's Marvin Gaye, it's the uh, 10 inch single, it's got four songs on it. Um, it's What's Going On album, off the, that album. There's two of them here, one's not even opened. Um, like I said, paid a buck a piece for them. I looked on Discogs and they're worth 10. <clears throat> but um, the first two people that go into my um, my um, yeah feedback and tell me you want them the first two that go there I'll send them to you I mean um, be my expense I'll ship them out to you um, put the exact time that you're putting it on there um, like I say if you put it on there and it's like 10 of 12 put on there uh, 11 50 because sometimes uh, YouTube don't put them in there in exact order, and I want to get the first two that put them in there to send them to them. So if the time's there, then I don't have to worry about it. I know that the first two with the time, and what I'll have to do, I'll get with you, the two um, people, and I'll shoot you my email address, and then I'll take and um, get your address, so it's personal, I don't want you to post it on the line, and I'll ship them out to you. So, I know it's no big giveaway, but if anybody, it's, I figured, I, they've been sitting here and sitting here, and I played them once, I played the one, I didn't even open the other one, 
I figure why not give them away. Um, I already got the album, so I don't. And I'm starting to get a little iffy with space here. <laughs> That's what happens when you got an addiction. But uh, so I figured I'd give those away. But anyway, anywho. Uh, that's all I got. It's um, 12.58, I guess. And uh, I guess uh, I'll be signing off here. So everybody take care.